welcome back to my channel my name is Katrina and welcome to my first official video in my new garage craft space please excuse all the background mess because it is not done yet I'm still in the process of getting all my aesthetics and stuff waiting for things to come in excuse like the hot water tank in the background all right so I am not officially officially in you know full operation yet we just got things in working order pretty much all right so if this is your first time on my channel welcome maybe you don't know i just moved from my craft space upstairs down to my garage so i'm still fixing things up loving it but we got a little ways to go so once i am completely done with all of my you know aesthetics and organization i will be doing a full tour a full craft room garage tour all right so I had it renovated so this is my first official video I'm excited still got to get proper lighting so I hope you guys can see me really well nevertheless I gotta get back to work and I am happy and excited to do this because Caesar just came out with a brand new vinyl you guys know I really don't like doing too many vinyls I'm not like a cutting weed type of girl no more now that DTF is out sublimation and of course you know I have the white toner so I only do it when his specialty vinyls come out. So Caesar just released this new Easy Reflective HTV. And when I say it's bomb, it is bomb. So if this is your first time here, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Consider looking at some of my other past content because I do weekly tutorials on how to grow and start your business. All types of new products that come out, I give you full tutorials on them. So I'm going to go ahead, jump into today's tutorial really quick and easy, just like the vinyl says, and I'm going to show you how reflective it is. Let's take a closer look at this new HTV from Caesar. All right, excuse the little ceiling garage light. I'm going to have to figure something out. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and jump into this vinyl. So this came in a nice little cute package but I was just like what is this I didn't know what they were sending me so I went ahead and opened it all up and I didn't get to show you the the packaging but nevertheless they have some they threw in some other stuff as well so I'm gonna give you all the names so that way if you want to look it up I'll have the links down below in the description box the first few we're not doing today we're only gonna be doing the easy reflective so the first one is the holographic eclipse the color is called peace and love and when you look into it it has like all the peace and love symbols. I hope you guys can see that. It's reflecting all the stuff in the background, but I'm hoping that you guys can see that. So if you're into like peace and love, it has all of the little peace and love symbols. So then they sent me the holographic eclipse called Greenery, and it has like, looks like little trees or either little stars in it. It's really hard to see because it's kind of, you know, it's kind of hard to see because of all the light, but if you look, you can kind of see the designs in it. That's that one. And then they sent me this holographic eclipse one that's called snakeskin. Now, I can't wait to use this one. I'm going to do it in another video, but you can kind of see that snakeskin, and it almost looks like it. This one is holographic. Do you see those colors? Ooh, that's going to be real nice. So, you know, holographic shines and the, the colors change based upon the lighting. So, do you see that? Ooh, and the snake skin. That's really nice. So, those will be linked down in the description as well. But today, we are going to be testing and reviewing out the new Caesar Easy Reflective. So, they, so they sent me four colors. Four colors. The first one is the Easy Reflective Silver. So you can't see it right now, but it's definitely reflective and the colors change. All right, so that's the first one, the Easy Reflective Silver. This is the one that I'm gonna use today, the Easy Reflective Rainbow Black. Now, I don't know if you guys can see like the rainbow already, but wait till I cut and weave this baby. It is gonna be so beautiful because I've seen it on some other content creators using it. This one is the Easy Reflective Dark Gray. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna pair yet with the Rainbow Black, but I gotta see, I gotta see. So we got the Dark Gray, we got the Silver, and then we have the Aqua. Oh my goodness. So I know it looks kind of matte right now, but they look that way because they're reflective. So this is what it looks like. I think I should have turned them over. This is the Dark Gray one. 
And then this one is the rainbow one. Just so you can get a little idea, the rainbow one is on the front side, but this is the aqua on the back side. That's the dark gray. And then the silver right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna see which one I'm gonna pair with the rainbow black. But these are the new easy reflective colors. So we're gonna go ahead, cut them out, and I am gonna be using my Caesar Juliet for today's cutting machine. So do y'all see this crew neck I have on? I embroidered it with the applique. This is a super soft blank. I just talked about them recently. I have a full unboxing where I tried on their stuff. So for today's t-shirt of choice that we're gonna be decorating, I'm gonna be using this super soft apparel wholesale blank. It is really soft. So definitely take a look at the unboxing. If you're looking for wholesale blanks, I'll have that video linked down below in the description box so that way you can check them out. You can purchase their blanks with or without a wholesale license. And this is a 100% cotton tee, tear away label. You can brand it, you can do the whole thing. I've only embroidered on it first, but today I'm gonna to be testing it out and see how well, how it looks with the Caesar Easy Reflective. And of course, I'm gonna be using my beautiful Caesar Juliet desktop cutter. Let's go ahead, jump into desktop mode and cut out our design. So this is the design that I'm doing, covered by Grace. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make a copy of it, duplicate it. So I'm gonna drag that. I always make a copy of it first. And I wanna knock the by Grace out on the cover. So I'm going to actually create a small offset for the by Grace. So I'm gonna come down here where it says build contours. I'm gonna select that. So I wanna create a small offset on it before I knock it out, just so I can have like a little space, a little border. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna click build contours, and I'm going to uncheck print then cut because I don't want it to be print then cut. I'm going to include holes, and I'm gonna bring my offset up to about 15. I just want a small thin line. And let's just make this red so we can see it. So that way you can see the offset around it. I'm gonna go ahead and click apply, and now, I have my offset. So I'm gonna take the offset part, just like you would do in Cricut, and now when I drag that off, the red is going to be the offset. So I'm gonna take the red portion, and I'm going to line that up where I want it. I'm just gonna select everything, and I'm going to center it. Make sure it's nice and centered, and I wanna make sure it's up enough, so that way, I wanna make sure the red is up enough, so that way it is coming through. Okay, so that's good just like that. So now I'm gonna select everything. So in Cricut Design Space, you would use the slice feature. So in Leonardo Design Studios, you're gonna come down where you see the well feature, the two boxes or two squares, and you're gonna go over to the third one where it says Stamp Keep, and I'm going to select Stamp Keep. So now, when I separate them, my covered is knocked out. So I don't need the offset anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And now I'm gonna bring this one back up. So that way I can fit it right in. Fit it right into place. And that's how it's going to look once I cut them out and layer them. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. And now I don't need this one because this one is great. And I'm just gonna make this the size that I want. I'm gonna enlarge it to about about nine and a half inches. As you see, I'm enlarging both of them. You wanna make sure that you enlarge both of them at the same time so it can fit. If you do one, you're gonna mess it up. So make sure you select both of them and enlarge both. Between nine and a half to 10, I'm gonna get my shirt and see exactly where I wanna measure it. But now you can see that little small, thin, white spacing, just so when I get ready to layer it, I'm not overlapping anything. And you can do your offset as big or as little as you want, or you don't even have to do one, but I like an offset because I like that little divider. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send my design to cut. So I want all the artwork that's selected, and of course, I want to make sure that each color is cut on a separate layer because we're cutting two different color vinyls. And now as you see, it has each one separated. Of course, I need to mirror my design, so I'm gonna click mirror. So right here, there's a box that says use cutter settings. I'm gonna keep that checked because I just set my cut settings in the machine already. So you could either do it from here or you can do it from the machine. So I'm gonna cut first the covered. That's the one that is going to be the rainbow reflective. I'm just gonna push it up just a little bit. I have my little t-shirt design cut out over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send this one to the cutter first. All 
All right, don't laugh at me that I'm using a tech wrap craft mat. <laughs> My Caesar mat is already worn out. So I'm gonna cut first the rainbow black. You wanna mirror your design, cut in reverse. So I'm gonna turn it down and I'm cutting on a 12 by 12 mat. Alrighty, I'm gonna insert my mat from the back. You can load from either the front or the rear and I'm just gonna get it lined up to where I want it, just like that. So anytime you do a new material, you definitely want to do a test cut. So I'm gonna go into cut settings and I'm gonna see if they have a reflective one. So I'm gonna touch that. Going into HTV, they have some for holographic, they have glitter. This one says Blackboard. These were preloaded, so I'm gonna rename that and I'm just gonna go ahead and type in Reflective. So I input Reflective, I'm gonna save that. So now I'm just gonna play with the settings until I get the right force and speed. So my speed is on 10 and my force is gonna be on 20. So I'm just gonna go ahead, hit the test cut button over here, cuts out a little t-shirt, and let's see if that cut. Okay, here's my little t-shirt right over here. And I think I had it too close over. Let's see if that weeds out perfectly. Ooh, that weeded out perfectly. Do y'all see the little t-shirt there? Okay, that's what you want. And it has like a little circle in the middle. You wanna make sure that weeds perfectly. Okay, Juliet, first try. So I'm using the speed of 10 and a force of 20. Let's cut the rest out. So if you are using like a graph tech or if you're using the Cameo or the Cricut, so the website for Heat Transfer Warehouse, they give cut settings for all those other devices. So they didn't have it for the, um, for the Juliet, so that's why I had to do that. All right, I'm gonna take this one out. I can see, oh, it's over too far. I gotta do it again. I gotta do it again, it's over too far. I pushed it over just a little bit too much. All right, so this is gonna determine if it cut really well or not. Okay. This is kind of a thick vinyl, all right? This is kind of thick. And let's see how this weeded. That actually weeded really good. I just had it over too far. All right, so we're gonna do it again. And then we're gonna get it all the way right. We're gonna get it all the way. Oh wait, did I get it right? I think I'm good. I think I'm like literally good, like right at the edge. We gonna make that work. We gonna make that work. We gonna make that work. Yep, that's perfect guys, like right at the edge. All right, so let me go finish weeding this. I thought it's a good thing I didn't just go right away and throw this out. I said, let me cut it out first to see how it weeds. Perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna cut off the excess. Definitely gonna cut this off because you don't want that to be a part of the design. All right, and you don't have to worry about that because when you press it, that's gonna come off. All right, so that is perfect. Let's do the next part. All right, for my next color, I decided to go with the aqua. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this one down. Again, cutting in reverse, carrier side down. Okay, and I'm gonna load it from the rear again. Okay, now I'm gonna cut this one out. I'm gonna move it over just a little bit. All right, and we're gonna cut this one out gonna send to the cutter, keeping everything the same. This time I added an auto weed box to it. So let's cut this one out. And I took my pressure up to 22, just to see if it cuts out, just to see if it cuts and weeds out a little better. So I took the force up to 22. <sighs> That's the auto weed box. All right, let's go ahead and weed it out. Just gonna cut it out of out of the box. And let's see how well it weeds. The name is easy, so 
Guys, do y'all see that? Oops. That is weeding so easy. I'm trying to give y'all like a little slow-mo action. That weeded so easy, like butter. Oh my goodness. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut everything else out. This ring light is really, but I gotta have the light. Oh, that's the ceiling light. Ugh, this is torture. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this out so that way I can have this part. Now I'm just gonna finish weeding this, the inside. So I have the reflective aqua and then I have the reflective rainbow black. Let's go on over to the heat press. Thank you, Juliet, for cutting it out perfectly. Two snaps. All right, so again, I'm using the super soft blank. I'm going to fold it in half so that way I can pre-press it and I can get my center line. So for you beginners, this is a really easy, simple trick that you can do. So that way you can always get the center of your shirt. So just make sure it's folded completely in half from top to bottom, just like that. And then you'll press it for three to five seconds and that will give you your center crease. Okay, pre-pressing gets the moisture out. All right, so I'm gonna slide this in. I'm using my TransPro Plus 16 by 20. Heat press is set to, ooh, that's a lot of pressure because I had it on my neck platen last time I used it. So now I'm using my regular 16 by 20 platen. You wanna use medium pressure, it says. Medium pressure, 305 degrees Fahrenheit. I have my center line. So now this HTV is layerable, but only the top layer, only the top layer if you wanna layer it. But I did a knockout design, so I technically, I'm not layering. All right, so I'm using the Caesar Easy Reflective. As always, I'm gonna fold my design in half, so that way I can get the center of the design as well. Just put two small creases in it. And now I'm just going to do my own measurement. I'm gonna place this right on the crease that I already created in the shirt. And I'm gonna do my little three to four finger rule. That's good. Make sure that is straight. Bring it over. You're pressing for 15 seconds, 305 degrees, medium pressure. This is a warm peel. And of course the name tag came off, <laughs> the little sticker came off. So because it's a warm peel, I'm just gonna shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture, <laughs> just for a few seconds. And once it's just warm to the touch, I will peel it back. All right, let's peel that. Ooh, baby. Y'all, I already see the reflectiveness. Can y'all see that? Oh, my, that's crazy. Let's take a closer look. Just wait, we not done. That's not the whole thing. You gotta wait and see it in the dark. You gotta see this in the dark. So now I'm gonna take this one. And when you're doing these designs like this, you wanna hurry up and you wanna stack it. Now I'm just gonna cut around this just a little bit just so I don't get like a whole bunch of press lines. So I'm just gonna trim around it nice and good just so I don't get a whole bunch of crazy press lines. All right, little trick, little trick that I learned by error, trial and error. All right, so whenever I'm like doing the layering or knockout method, because I definitely don't wanna mess up this brand new HTV. So I'm gonna fit this in here. Gotta remember where I fit it at. Kinda of hard to see because of the, um, right there, right there. 
Now this carrier is kind of thick, so this is kind of hard to see. So I'm hoping I don't mess this up. Give me a pause, I gotta layer this right. All right, I layered it. Do y'all see how that color is hitting? So depending upon the angle, man, listen, this thing about to be fire. Okay, so I put a Teflon sheet on the top because I don't want to mess it up. I'm gonna press it again at 305 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 seconds, medium pressure. Okay, and I'm hoping that I got it layered perfectly in place with the knockout. I had to shine the light directly on it. All right, so here we go. Another 15 seconds. Let's get this reveal, baby. Let's pull it out. Ooh, baby. All right, so again, we're gonna let this cool down. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Yeah, these colors are popping. All right, so I'm gonna peel this one back in just a few seconds. Just a few seconds. Let me get a better angle for you guys. All right, so this definitely should be ready. Let's go ahead and peel that back. Y'all, yeah. I don't got my offset perfect, but it's on there. Look at that. That looks nice. That looks so nice. I love that. I love it. I just have my offset. It's kind of hard to see the carrier, so I should have brought it down just a little bit, but Listen, I'm covered by grace, always. Grace is always with me. So let me know if y'all like this design and definitely let me know if y'all like the new Caesar Easy Reflective. Ooh, baby, this is fire. Let me know what y'all think, all right? And first of all, I know someone's gonna ask, that's soft, that is soft. All right, let's see what it looks like without the lights. Here we go. Cutting this ring light off. That's with just that light off, okay? Let's cut some more lights out. Hold on. Stay with me now. Let's see what it looks like. That's without that light, but I still got one light on. All right now. All right now, y'all see that? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this Caesar Easy Reflective. Oh my goodness, with so many different angles, so many different ways, it just looks fire. All right, all right, all right, here we go. The final reveal. Do y'all see those colors? Do y'all see those colors? Do y'all see those colors? Ooh wee, she is really reflective. So you guys can wear this at night, you can wear this vinyl like at parties, you can wear it to different things, but you just wanna add a little glow, you wanna have a little light, and you want people to see you coming and see you leaving. So this is really cool, you can do so many different things. So it comes in the four colors, the reflective aqua, the reflective um, silver, the reflective dark gray, and of course the reflective rainbow black. This one right here is hitting. I don't know how long it's gonna be in stock, y'all. So go ahead and grab you some if you're interested and it feels really soft. And also if you're interested in the blanks, check out Super Soft Apparel. And of course, if you're looking for a desktop cutter, the Caesar Juliet, which is a 12 inch cutter, or if you want something much bigger and wider, you can go with the big boy, the Romeo, which is a 24 inch cutter. So as always, thanks for watching. That's it for today's. You know I love bringing y'all the new stuff that drops. This one just dropped, so go ahead and add it to your vinyl collection. Guys, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Always remember to keep pressing, always moving grace. Also, let me know if I should add this design to my shop because I just came up with this design today and I think I like it. I think I like it. All right, so let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. And as always, turn on your notification bell so that way you will be ready and notified when I do my new garage craft tour. I'm out. Thanks for watching. See you later. Love you. Bye.